about to make his way to the ring representing Sports Entertainment Extreme from Atlanta, Georgia. This is Mike Sanders. Wow, what a, what a brutal exchange we saw between Saturn and Barton. And, oh. and then what a wild situation involving New Jack Sandman and the disciples of the new church with Father Mitchell apparently throwing that fireball. That was unreal. And his opponent, weighing it at 263 pounds, D-Lo Cruz. Well, we know what Mike Sanders. D-Lo, you asked for it, and you got it. You have Mike Sanders, the man that in the mind of D-Lo Brown, and I think in the mind of many people, cost him the NWA World Heavyweight title belt one week ago when D-Lo faced Jeff Jarrett. This is an opportunity for redemption. This is chance for revenge for D'Lo Brown. And you know the irony of that whole situation, Mike, was that Mike Sanders was actually trying to help D'Lo Brown. He came out there for Sports Entertainment Extreme because if he would have gotten, if D'Lo would have got the victory, he would have had to join them. And it just, Jared saw the kick coming and ducked and it hit D'Lo square in the face and D'Lo doesn't realize it said it was trying to help him. You're right, the interference attempt by Sanders backfired him on one week ago, and now it's payback time for D'Lo. Sanders sets it up, but D'Lo explodes out of the corner with a clothesline. But I can see D'Lo's point of view no matter what. I mean, D'Lo may have felt like he could have won that match by himself and didn't need to help. Either way you look at it, it cost him a title, and he wants the revenge. D'Lo able to land on the ring apron, try and fight back. Oh, nice. Smart move nice. by Sanders. Move by Sanders. For the ring there and just oh wait a minute oh well, Sanders back kick and then moonsault off the ring apron wow what a wild night it has I been mean, it, it's been all about revenge tonight I mean we saw it with Gilberti and AJ Styles we're seeing it right here I thought we were going to see it with Siaki and David Young I still can't figure that out David Young turn coat what yeah. What's going on in the mind of David Young? Just like I asked the question, what's going on in the mind of Jeff Jarrett? A question that we will get answered later tonight when I interview the NWA World Heavyweight oh, Champion. I can hardly wait. So many questions, Mike, have got to be going through your head. Snap suplex by Sanders. You know, Sanders really needs this. He needs to get, and, and, and I'm not saying... Well, yes, I am. He seems like he's lost the respect of some of the members of Sports Entertainment Extreme back there. He needs to get it back. That's how important this match is for Mike Sanders. Gilberti said earlier, quick pin attempt now, two count on D'Lo. Remember Gilberti said to him, in spite of all the problems that we've had with you in recent weeks, we still are watching your back. You know, I, I just feel like Gilberti didn't like the way that D'Lo came in there and pretty much, hey, I'm telling you how it's going to be. Go get Mike Sanders for me. And I just, you know, he wasn't going to take it. Whoa, man, Sanders. Mike Sanders putting together an effective series of offensive moves. Going to try another pin attempt on D'Lo. Goes for the cover and another two count. You know, I, I'm wondering how wise it is that Dino even to even have this match. He's got to be so emotionally spent still after that incredible title match that he had last week with Jeff Jarrett and the week before the chair shot that put all the that he had to have all the stitches put in his head with Jeff Jarrett. And now it's just a matter of trying to get a little payback here. Sometimes you just gotta kick back and get your thoughts right and do it when the timing's right. It's one of the things that I'm gonna bring up to Jeff Jarrett when I talk to him later tonight. That chair shot that sent D'Lo to the hospital with a concussion. Out of the corner comes oh. Brown. Sanders is there. Sanders is ready. Counters with a back body drop. Oh! Follows up, springing off the ropes. Stiff kick to the chest. Mocking D'Lo now. Drops down with the knee. Goes for the lateral press and another two count from referee Rudy Charles. I'll tell you what, Mike Sanders came ready to play tonight, buddy. As he is just absolutely taking over this match. Variation of the Cobra Clutch applied here by Sanders. Trying to cut off the, the wind of D'Lo Brown. You know, D'Lo came out with revenge on his mind. And D'Lo was doing quite well in the opening minute of this match, but 
ever since that uh, first offensive attack from D'Lo Brown, I think you have to admit this match has been all Mike Sanders. All Mike Sanders. I mean, 100%. I mean, I, I, it's almost like D'Lo forgot what, what this match means to him. I mean, this, this is the guy that cost him the title. And he's getting it back now, Mike. Fighting it off. D'Lo back to the vertical base. Ducks the clothesline off the ropes. Flying forearm takes down Sanders. Running clothesline out of the corner. D'Lo's got it back together. Oh, man. Slams that down hurts. Sanders. Measures him. Ooh. Drops down. Goes for the cover. Legs hook. Shoulders are Here down. It is. No. no. Another Sanders two counts. Out. Crowd felt like he got it. How quickly things can change, Mike. Oh, beautiful kick. Here it another is. Pin attempt. One, two. The cover, and again, oh. another two count. You got to give it to Sanders. He's put on a gutsy effort here tonight. Sanders able to turn things oh, around man. now. man. Drops him down across the knee. Hangman's new neck breaker by Sanders. Here Pin it attempt. is. For Here one, it is. Two, two. Oh. And again, D'Lo kicks out. Still life left in D'Lo. Thought he had him there, Mike. Sanders measuring him out of the corner, waiting for D'Lo to get up. Went for the super kick. Uh -oh. Blocked by D'Lo. Oh, Sanders blocks with the sudden impact. And D'Lo answers with a scoop and a body slam. D'Lo pointing up. Whoa, look out. Sonny Siaki, Desire. Oh, they said they had Sanders back. Well, they're out here. And there's Siaki brings D'Lo back down the ground. I think we all expected D'Lo to go for the frog splash off the top. Cut off by Sonny Siaki with interference. And come oh. on, Rudy. Rudy Charles being sweet-talked by Desire. Rudy's lost his concentration oh, he's here. he's got the spell on him, baby. Oh, man, beautiful there by Sanders. Suplexes that him back on real. Floats over. He's got Here's the pin. Two. No, no way. Not yet. plan did not work oh nice agility by sanders to land on his feet out of the full nelson dealer tries to fight it off See how Gilberti lost it earlier with the referee. Oh man, Sports Entertainment Extreme is up to their old tricks. Mike. I called for a suspension earlier, and now Gilberti back in here, viciously beating on D'Lo Brown. You, this guy's on a ramp. You made a great point earlier, Mike. We got to get some sort of a, an NWA commissioner out here to take over when situations like this happen. Sex is just running rampant right now. We need some law and order around here. They put the boots to D'Lo. Three on one, and now, they're good. now what do they have planned? Motioning for Sanders to get up. Sanders can, can barely get to his feet. Oh. Super kick that he just unleashed on D'Lo. Well, they said they had his back. D'Lo Brown gets the win, but Sports Entertainment Extreme gets the last word. Don't forget, Jeff Hammond's going to be joining us later, Mike, in the uh, four-man or uh, four-team X Division Tag Championship. But speaking of NASCAR, on Monday, go to John Boy and Billy. We have a great announcement. How would you like to be a part of an owner NASCAR team? Earlier today, I had the chance to sit down with Trinity. Keith Mitchell, roll the tape. People.